Assalamu alaikum it will be my great pleasure that everyone will be fine it is a very important topic of reinforced concrete design in which we will learn and discuss about the flexure strength of singly reinforced beam so the first concern arises that what is singly reinforced beam singly reinforced beam is a beam in which steel is provided at only in one side of a beam so whether the steel is provided in upper fiber or lower fiber here the steel is provided in lower fiber you can see that the steel is provided in lower fiber it is a uh, typical cross section of a beam having depth of uh, h uh, and uh, web of b and the effective depth which is the uh, distance from center of the steel center of the steel to the upper fiber uh, is called effective depth represented by d and the effect uh, the our distance from upper fiber to the lower fiber is h uh, which is known as the depth of the beam so when the beam is subjected to different types of forces when uh, it is the initial shape of a beam it is uh, uh, subjected to different type of forces uh, here is the support reactions so the uh, final shape of a beam will be in this manner that it will bend to few extents of few millimeter or whatever the units are so this deflection uh, due to deflection or due to the forces the beam bends and the due to bends the strain will produce in a beam so uh, the, when the strain is produces in a beam then uh, directly the stresses will also initiates in a beam so this is a typical cross section of a singly reinforced beam singly reinforced beam when the steel is provided in only one side you can see the steel is provided in one side uh, in earlier lectures uh, we discusses uh, we discussed about the uh, reinforcement maximum reinforcement ratio minimum reinforcement ratio and uh, uh, in this lecture we will discuss about the um, and derive the fundamental formula for stress block uh, for singly reinforced beam singly reinforced beam is very important uh, in understanding point of view from this beam we will onward to understand the doubly reinforced beam and the t beam and much more topics in next lecture so uh, keep in mind that this lecture is very important for understanding point of view so in this lecture we will derive the formula for uh, effective depth in terms of uh, area of steel or in terms of reinforcement ratio and ultimately we will discussing about the flexure strength so we will derive the formula for bending moment so flexure means bending moment so we will derive the formula for bending moment so i will zoom the uh, beam so this is a beam having depth of uh, b uh, depth of h so here is h and the distance from the center of steel to the upper fiber is d which is called which is called effective depth so remember this is very important that the effective depth what is effective depth it is it will be used widely so and the width of a beam is a b and the mm, distance from the upper uh, fiber to the lower fiber so the upper fiber to the lower fiber is called depth of a beam or uh, height of a beam which is denoted by h and the steel provided in lower fiber uh, having area of as so the steel area as means a means area subscript s means steel so the steel area is denoted by s in this we will also uh, derive the formula for area of steel so the when the beam is a uh, uh, subjected to different type forces due to these forces the strain will be produced so when the strain is produced the strain diagram will be this according to the assumption of aci number one so the first assumption says that the plane section before and after bending remain plane so the strain diagram will be linear and the at upper uh, fiber there will be above the neutral axis where there is a point where the strain value is zero when the line uh, passes through the point where the strain will live is equal to zero so this axis is called neutral axis at neutral axis the strain will be equal to zero so this uh, the line represents straight line represents the neutral axis above the neutral axis above the neutral axis there will be tension uh, compression and uh, below the neutral axis there will be tension uh, compression uh, tension because steel is pro uh, uh, provided in lower fiber there will be 
tensile uh, strength uh, so the concrete is uh, uh, provided in upper fiber uh, so the concrete has capacity to uh, have uh, the compressive ability compressive strength so in upper fiber there will be compression will be produced or compressive strain will be produced in lower fiber there will be tensile strain uh, will be produced because uh, if we consider the beam is in this step that the load is applied in this manner downward so the beam will deflect so due to uh, due to deflection due to deflection the upper fiber means this fiber i want to say that uh, the this fiber the upper fiber this fiber after deflection this fiber will decreases by few millimeter or uh, few extent and the lower fiber will become in tension means this uh, length the entire length will increase by few factor by few amount so remember that uh, this uh, in upper fiber there will be compression and the lower fiber there will be tension in a beam so uh, this uh, compression uh, has a compressive strain maximum strain uh, below this uh, uh, above this uh, strain the beam will fail so eu will be the concrete strain which is 0.003 according to the assumption of aci so the assumption is very important that will be used in every lecture the entire lecture the assumption of aci will be used and the uh, uh, distance from the upper fiber to the neutral axis is called uh, is denoted by c so in earlier lecture or the previous lecture we derived the formula for c the distance from upper fiber to the lower uh, to the neutral axis which is denoted by c for balance condition it is denoted by by c subscript b so which is uh, eu divided by eu plus ey or es multiply whole multiply by d so in last lecture we derived this formula also uh, in this lecture we did not go for this uh, uh, criteria so uh, in this uh, derivation so uh, in, la uh, in uh, lower fiber there is steel so due to steel the tension will be produced so the strain also produces so the strain will be e s uh so uh, e s r e e y you can also represent e s by e y so the steel strain which may be differ uh, by depending on grade of steel or material used in a construction of manufacturing of steel and the very important diagram is a stress diagram it is very important remember this is a very fundamental uh, diagram for deriving all formulas for effective depth or moment equations so the Whitney uh, suggests that the stress diagram will be rectangular so in actual this diagram will be trapezoidal or parabolic so Whitney suggests that this diagram will be uh, uh, rectangular so the length uh, the length of a rectangular uh, or width of the rectangle will be uh, rectangle will be 0 0.8 times of uh, F dash C 0 0.8 times of F dash C. What is F dash C? F dash C is the concrete compressive strength. Uh, so the value of compressive strength when we mix a, a concrete or a, a place a concrete. Uh, so by designing uh, by which amount of sand, aggregate, and cement are mixed, and uh, what amount of water cement ratio is used when uh, after curing uh, then the uh, 20 after 28 days we will conduct a test of uh, in utm universal testing machine so uh, it will compress the cube or uh, cylinder so the, this uh, test provide the value of uh, compression so this compression value is called compressive strength of concrete before failure it will provide a value which is the maximum value that is uh, uh, endures stresses in compression above this uh, compression force the uh, concrete will fail before failure the value is called compressive strength so this strength will be taken so the width of a Whitney stress block will be 0 0.8 times of f dash c remember this this is provided by Whitney and the depth of a compression block is denoted by a uh, and the, this a is equal to beta times of c so it is a relation you can uh, learn and uh, remember this is a very important uh, relation uh, if the uh, depth uh, effective depth is a uh, 
then effect, and then the distance from upper power to the neutral axis is multiplied by a factor which depends on compressive strength remember so this will provide the effective depth uh, means that a is also equal to beta 1 c so remember this is a, a only formula and uh, uh, the this is the total compressive strength uh, x in upper fiber so what will be the equivalent of this witness stress block uh, in last previous lecture i also told that this uh, uh, compressive equivalent compressive strength will be the volume of this stress block since this is the plan diagram the 3d will, uh, will be in this manner that uh, c is equal to means the uh, equivalent compressive strength will be equal to 0 0.8 times of f dash c f dash c a b a means the depth of compression block and b is the width of the compression uh, witness stress block remember this so this is the whole formula for compressive force equivalent compressive force where uh, it acts uh, it will act at the mid of a compression block means uh, if this distance is a then this uh, magnitude equivalent force acts a by 2 from upper fiber so remember this is very important that uh, this force acts uh, a by 2 means uh, the half of a uh, uh, the point uh, where half of a half of a compression block so the whole compressive force acts at uh, equivalent force act at distance uh, a by 2 from the upper fiber remember this and then uh, in lower fiber there is still property due to steel property the strain will produce if the strain produces then uh, steel uh, uh, stresses are still will be in tension so stress will be produced if stress is produced then ultimately we can mean that the, there will be tensile force because the uh, strain is tensile strain the tensile force will be endured and uh, induces in uh, steel so the a magnitude of a tensile force will be a s times of so the magnitude of a s uh, uh, tensile force will be a s times of a f y area times of uh, yield strength or uh, stress of uh, uh, steel so uh, it from where it comes it is uh, come from a fundamental formula of stress stress is equal to force upon area so we will require the force force is denoted by t in terms of uh, steel so t is equal to asfy it is uh, a tensile uh, force in nature so it will be directed in this direction in right side so remember this in the compressive force means it will compress the beam so it will direct it in this direction so the direction is better it will, uh, so remember this direction for in which direction the force is x so the compressive force acts in left direction and the uh, tensile force acts in right direction and the distance between two forces what is the distance between two forces uh, since the distance from the center of steel to the upper fiber is denoted by d remember this distance is d if i subtract uh, a by 2 from d means uh, from uh, this force x a by 2 from the upper fiber if i uh, subtract this distance from our total distance total distance is d so i can get this distance so d minus a by 2 so the distance between two forces the compressive forces and tensile forces is d minus a by 2 the uh, center of steel to the upper fiber the distance is d if i subtract the this force the distance from upper fiber to this force is a by 2 if uh, i subtract a by 2 from d then i will get this distance between the distance between two forces so remember this now we will take uh, and zoom out so that the stress diagram will be in this manner and the strain diagram will be in this manner so if the beam is in equilibrium if the beam is in equilibrium then the summation of this force uh, in this force will become equal to zero or uh, the this force the tensile force will become equal to the compressive force for equilibrium condition means uh, if there is no uh, uh, moment or uh, no dispersion or no difference in uh, forces so this uh, uh, equilibrium condition will be used means that the summation of both forces equal to zero or the magnitude of tensile force will become equal to the magnitude of the compressive force 
so i will take this assumption of uh, equilibrium so i will i will derive the formula for a depth of compression black means i will uh, derive the formula for depth of compression black only this what will be the uh, depth of compression black means the from upper fiber to the this point where the compressive force acts so i want to mm, derive this formula for this i will take this assumption that the equilibrium condition uh, tensile force will become equal to the compressive force so t is equal to c any yani, uh, tensile force will become equal to compressive force t is means tensile force c means compressive force so put the values of these forces so t is equal to asfy which is equal to t is equal to asf in place of t we will put asfy in place of c we will put this value we derived in previous lecture to that 0.8 times of f dash c b a so i want to find the depth of compression block for formula for depth of compression block so i will uh, shift these all terms in other side so it will become in divide so asfy divided by 0.8 times uh, of f dash c a b so this is the formula of stress block in terms of in terms of area of steel remember this this is the formula of depth of compression block in terms of uh, area of steel so i want to uh, derive the formula in terms of reinforcement ratio for reinforcement ratio i only divide uh, um, and multiply by uh, d so this uh, equation will become So I want to uh, derive the, the whole formula in terms of reinforcement ratio. So uh, I want to multiply and divide by D. So this equation, the above equation. So this uh, uh, AS divided by BD. Remember in this, this will become uh, equal to rho. So the whole AS divided by BD in place of AS divided by BD, I will write only this reinforcement ratio. The other factor remain same, remain come as usual. So A is equal to rho Fy in place of this A and this BD. So the remaining factors Fyd divided by 0.F dash C remain same. So it is the uh, formula for uh depth of compression block in terms of reinforcement ratio remember this that layer formula was the, the uh, formula in terms of area of steel this formula is in terms of area uh, reinforcement ratio since the reinforcement ratio is as over bd so in place of as or bd we uh, wrote that uh, this is equal to reinforcement ratio now we will the uh, the aim of this lecture to find the moment uh, flexure moment so for this flexure moment we will take uh, back to the uh, stress diagram which says that uh, we take the moment at point c so uh, if we will take the moment at this point so at this point if we will take moment due to this force the moment will be produced remember this so this moment will be equal to t times means this tensile force this tensile force so m is equal to t times of perpendicular distance what will be the perpendicular distance the perpendicular distance is d minus a by 2 so this is the perpendicular distance so i want to uh, take a moment at point this means at point c so this force the moment due to this force will be equal to zero so the moment only for this force will be created so uh, this moment will be t times of uh, t times of d minus a by 2 since d uh, d minus a by 2 is the perpendicular distance so i will write here uh, in terms uh, of uh, asfy since uh, t is equal to asfy in place of uh, in place of t i will put asfy so the perpendicular distance is d minus a by 2 so in this equation uh, this is the formula for bending moment or nominal bending moment so uh, in this uh, uh, in uh, below there is uh, i only take d as common from this uh, so i take d as a common so the this equation will become in this manner that asfy i will take d common so 1 minus a by 2d i take i took only d as a common 
so in place of a put in place of a put the value of stress block uh, formula for stress block so in place of a put this formula in this equation remember this this is very important every student doesn't remember this so uh, it is a uh, very important that uh, you will uh, you shall put this in, uh, in in place of a so this will give the uh, another formula for bending moment so this also uh, use in uh, uh, questions and this formula will also be used in every questions uh, uh, if uh, you will design the uh, beam uh, which is not provided b and d so you will find b and d from this formula so uh, in this formula you put uh, in place of a put this uh, formula so you, the next equation will be asfyd remains same and 1 minus 1 by 2d in place of a you put this uh, uh, formula in place of a you put this so after a few uh, calculations so you can get the new formula mn is equal to rho fy bd square means i take the common row as well so a lot of calculations so rho fy bd square 1 minus 0 0.59 rho fy divided by f dash c so this will be the next formula so remember this uh, as is equal to uh, sorry uh, reinforcement ratio reinforcement ratio is equal to as over bd so here is as present so i want to uh, provide that there will be uh, in terms of uh, reinforcement ratio so i want to shift this in this place so it will become as is equal to rho f uh, bd so there is a uh, rho bd square from where this is so i want to uh, change it in place of as i want to put uh, rho bd so uh, earlier d is also present so there will be square b into b so d into d so uh, rho fy bd square so the other uh, equation will be 1 minus 0 0.59 and rho fy divided by f dash c so here is the explanation and the whole factor uh, the whole factor instead of bd square the whole factor a whole factor in this formula instead of bd square the whole factor remember this what i want to repeat that the whole factor uh, instead of bd square is whole denoted by r only uh, given a name that the whole factor rho fy into 1 minus 0 0.59 F, uh, rho fy divided by f dash c is represented by bd square so the next equation will be mn is equal to nominal bending moment will be equal to r times of b d square so remember the uh, this uh, this formula and uh, this formula will be used for finding the bending moment for singly reinforced name these two for formula is very important and next uh, we want to make uh, about uh, small use of a design equation in next uh, page so the design equation says that the no, uh, factor moment should be equal to or less than the uh, nominal bending moment uh, times of strength reduction factor so since design equation means that the bending moment uh, uh, that takes by any beam and the capacity of bending moment is called uh, what the amount of bending that uh, moment that a beam can take is denoted by mn so if uh, we reduce the capacity by using strength reduction factor then this moment should be greater or equal to the factor that are applied at the actual moment so remember this the uh, a bending moment after reducing the capacity because we are designing any uh, beam according to the ultimate strength method in which we will reduce the capacity and amplify the load so by using strength reduction factor we will reduce the mn uh, which is uh, uh, attained by different formulas so this will become equal to the uh, greater or equal to the factor moment so the factor moment is the actual moment that the uh, that acts are uh, due, uh, in, during structure analysis the uh, moment we can uh, the achieve is called factor moment so mn i we will uh, assume that it will be equal so mu is equal to pi times of mn so 
in uh, previous uh, uh, page we derived the formula for mn so put the formula for mn and the pi will become as well so m is the factor moment required flexure mo uh, strength what will be the uh, strength required so remember this is a flexure moment is called the required what amount of strength required what amount of uh, flexure strength bending strength required and uh, pi pi mn is the design strength uh, for which we will design a moment so uh, mu will be uh, less than or equal to pi mn remember this mu is the the requirement of uh, to the requirement of a beam that takes a moment and pi mn is the design of flexure strength that means by design we derive a moment by using formulas for this a beam will be uh, reduced to take care this moment so pi mn is the design flexure strength so the design flexure strength after 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 reducing the capacity we should be greater or equal to the uh, equ requirement uh, what the structure analysis says that what amount of uh, moment should be required so remember this the design strength after re reducing capacity should be greater than the um, factor moment or the required moment uh, due to this the uh, structure will be safe if we assume this assumption or this equation so this is very important design equation so in design equation i have separate video you can watch also that uh, the design equ design equation so mn is the nominal moment capacity of a section what is the capacity of a section that uh, these forces will induces then this moment will be produced and uh, mn is the nominal moment what amount of moments that this uh, beam take, uh, takes uh, if b is this and d is something so this amount of uh, moment that section will takes and uh, pi is the strength reduction factor we are uh, designing the beam according to the ultimate strength method uh, uh, in ultimate strength method we will uh, amplify load and reduce the capacity of a strength or moment so pi is the strength reduction factor so what uh, so the next e equation will be in this manner that right? mu is equal to pi mn so mu is equal to pi as it is mn in place of mn we will put the asfy d minus a by 2 you can also put the so in place of moment uh, we can also put this formula to that both formula can be used in calculation according to the requirement of a problem so these are two formula for moment factor moment so you know, how can we find the area of steel uh, so area of steel uh, can I easily found by this equation since we derived this equation so we only uh, shift up these all terms instead of as to other side so this will the equation will become equal to mu divided by pi fy into d minus a by 2 is equal to as so the area of steel will be formed by this formula this is very important formula in design this will be used so in design we will make a trial to find the area of steel and this is the formula for depth of compression block what will be the strength direction factor we will discuss this so remember this we derived the formula for Mm, derived this formula it is a summary of this whole uh, singly reinforced beam and we derive two formula for bending moment number one is this this formula and number two is this so you understand this what is bending what is uh, what design equation says that so uh, in design equation there is my separate video you can watch this for understanding the design equation what design equation says that so uh, we derive two formulas for bending moment and one formulas for uh, depth of compression block and the formula for area of steel so now we will discuss and learn about the strength reduction factor what will be the value of strength reduction factor it is very important in a strength reduction what will be the value of strength reduction factor we will use uh, this graph 
from this graph you will derive uh, take the value of strength reduction factor which is the uh, graphical re representation of uh, compressive uh, strength re reduction factor on y axis and compressive strain or uh, sorry tensile strain of steel on y x axis so uh, for for uh, ties are uh, So we will discuss the two about about uh, about spiral reinforcement. If the spiral if the reinforcement is spiral, then we will use this equation. Pi is equal to 0.75 plus uh, strain of steel minus 0.002 times of 50. So we will use this equation. Uh, whatever the value of E U. Uh, so we will put this. So we will attain the value of pi. For other member for tied reinforcement for other reinforcement we will use this equation or the simplified form of this equation is this 0 0.483 plus 83.3 times of uh, e, e epsilon t so whatever the value of et uh, first we will find the value of et strain steel then we will plug in this uh, uh, equation for this for spiral and for other types if the strain steel is uh, equal to or less than 0.002 then for other type, uh, types of reinforcement the strain will be 0.65 the strength reduction will be 0.65 if the uh, steel strain is 0 0.005 or greater than 0.005 then the value of strength reduction factor will be 0 0.90 remember this and uh, for uh, spiral reinforcement if the strain in steel is 0 0.002 or less than 0 0.002 then we will use strength reduction factor is 0 0.75 if the strain in steel for spiral reinforcement is 0 0.005 or greater than this so we will use the strength reduction factor is 0 0.90 if the value lies of the steel strain lies between 0 0.002 to the 0.005 then we will use this equation by putting the value of strain steel uh, strain and steel then we can uh, we can achieve the value of strength reduction factor for uh, spiral reinforcement ratio uh, reinforcement uh, we will put the value if it is in between uh, uh, 0.005 to 0.002 so we will put this uh, we will use this equation by putting the value of uh, et whatever the value of et by plugging in this uh, equation we can attain the value achieve that uh, value of strength reduction factor for other reinforcement uh, reinforcement uh, we will use this equation for spiral we uh, will use this equation means we will first find the uh, strain in steel so uh, what will be the value of strain in steel there is a separate formula for strain in steel so first we will find the strain in steel if the strain is steel for other reinforcement for other means uh, instead of uh, spiral so we will if the strain is 0.002 or less than this so we will use 0.65 remember this if the strain is 0.005 or greater than 0.005 then we will use uh, strength reduction factor is 0.90 and for spiral reinforcement ratio the same condition but the value is 0.75 and the 0.9 for uh, strain 0.005 to uh, or greater than so this is the uh, strain uh, reduction factor and the last uh, we will cover just uh, go through so we will only uh, throw just uh, just the clear cover what is clear cover clear cover is the distance from uh, this fiber from this fiber to the surface of the steel from all side that this distance is called uh, clear cover so what will be the clear cover in uh, different structure so uh, for slab wall just beams girder is 3 by 4 or uh, uh, 1 1 by 2 so 1 inch means these are values in terms of inch so only go through these uh, what is clear cover so this is the topic about the singly reinforced beam which is very important topic of 
civil engineering reinforced concrete subject so uh, this is the only we derive few formulas which are widely used in analysis and design of singly reinforced beam so take care of yourself so